www.oghuskyradio.com soundcloud.com slash ecalb music e-k-a-l-b m-u-s-i-c and this track right here og husky is the og husky track so when he sells this one we're getting uh, 98 percent of the profits we're getting the points on the album we already signed everything that's right it's recorded here so um, that's right this can uh, be held in uh, the court of law under section 594. That's fucking the graffiti code. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Slash uh, 187, um, 211, all that good shit. What's good, man? How you doing, man? Doing good, man. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Um. What are we listening to? What is that? Um, just a little microwave that I made like a day yesterday. Yesterday, I mean for this specific opportunity you know thanks for having me out definitely man so, so you're a rapper uh not yet okay why not, why not yet or where, where does that come in man? i'm 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 working on my my lyrics you know i'm trying to be like more of a an artist lyrically as well but um i'm just look, focusing on my beats for the most part until i'm i'm at where i feel like i'm at a good level how many tracks can you say you you have done like completed not like oh, i gotta go back and add this completed yeah uh, completed real com- shit don't you ain't bragging yeah, I mean, pro- real maybe shit. like at least 50 or 60 tracks 50 or like, 60. at least like halfway decent ones because like i don't honestly well, I, what's halfway decent what the halfway decent to me you know like yeah. i'll play i'll play a beat for one of my friends and and they'll they'll be vibing to it you know like all hardcore but this is actually me and my friend. My friend's uh, doing the verses, and I just, I'm just i on the chorus. We're just feeling around, fooling around. And this is on the SoundCloud, too? Yeah, this is on SoundCloud as well. But when I say halfway decent, just uh, I want more for myself before like I put it out there for people. You know, like people will like it, but I feel like I want more from it, you know? Do, do you have artists that you work with? Can you say that again? Do you have artists that you work with, like specifically, or are you open to work with anyone? I'm open to work with anyone. But this specific person, Scroggy Doggy, right now rapping over the beat, he's a he's a good friend of mine, and we go way back. And for for some reason, me and him just work really well. I don't have to like it's not very much colliding. We just flow. So so you're a producer, you're a beat maker. What what are you, man? Um, producer. Um, I, I I'd say I'm a musician. I'm I don't have too much uh, like performance on like a lot of instruments, but I'm working on that. I started off just making beats, but it's inspired me to do like more just take it as far as i can really and i i don't even know what the fuck it means but can you read music yes i can read it but it's hard for me to translate it on on the piano yeah yeah but you're you're gonna take piano lessons right yes yes shouts out to steven sabati (laughs) so then shouldn't it be like get the lessons and then do the producing or uh or is it just is it a hands-on thing or I'd say it just, everybody takes, like, there's no right or wrong way. Like, you just kind of, like, I can, like, start, like, the beginning, which is the beginning for me, but then that's, like, the last thing someone else learned, and they're, like, a master at it already, you know? So it just all depends on, like, your approach to it and what you're trying to achieve. Can you play the drums? Uh, A little bit. I mean, I can keep a groove. I'm not, I can't groove too much, but. I always have, like, do you ever feel like, damn, I'm, since I'm limited on drums, um, formally, you know what I mean? Like formal teaching, like my music's going to sound the same or I'll get stuck in a pattern. Do you ever fear that um, or do you find that? 
on some real yeah, shit. Like. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I think I go through that a lot. You know, it's hard having to like break out of what you're comfortable doing, you know, and take it to like new places or whatever, you know. Oh, were you gonna say something? But but with that, you do different music too, though. Yes. What, I, what are the genres of music you, you fuck with? Um, honestly, like if it if it has like some sort of groove to it and like you can vibe to it. If I, if I like it, I mean, I, I'll listen to it. I don't care if it's like Spanish, Hindu, Armenian, whatever. I'll fuck with it all. So, so what what is more important, the the drum or the snare, and the beat, or the I cowbell? Th- uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not. I don't know. The <laughs> kick, the kick. <laughs> But no, because I'm saying if you're listening to different genres of music, what 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 catches you then? If it's let's say oh. Spanish and you don't speak Spanish, like what do you? The the melody, the vibe, um, where it personally takes me when I'm listening to it, just whatever you know. It could be anything. It could be like, it could be the chorus, you know. It could if it's like some catchy like T Pain or Akon shit. Like I like it, you know. Can can you do custom beats too? Like they come in. I'm looking for a trap beat, this kind of style. Can you do that? Um, yeah, I mean, like, if, if someone comes and they'll be like, oh, I want a trap beat or this kind of beat, I'll, I'll, I'll prefer to show you something that I have already and see how they react to that, you know? And then Are, are you willing to, to mix it up, like switch it up if they like, oh, well, I like this, but knowing that you fucking created it? Uh, yeah, I know it's, it's hard, you know, taking constructive criticism on like something that you've created, you know, because like it's like authentic and comes from the heart. And you have like some random asshole like, oh, you know, you need to put that like more over there. But um, having to, I mean, it's just all a part of the process. You know, obviously you're going to want like some sort of, you know, advice on it. You just got to learn to take it well, you know. What, what got you into making these? Um, I, I was skating for, I still skate. I think it's like 16 years now. But there was a point in time where I shattered my heel and I just had all this downtime and... You know, it was around the time when the rave scene was getting hot and like dubstep was dropping. And like, I was just ser- su- super curious to how to make a wobble. And I just wanted to make my own wobbles, get all wobbly and shit. So that transition, <laughs> skateboarding to Skate, making beats. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> what, what equipment do you use? And I have no idea on any of that shit. So um, you I can use... lie to me and be like, <laughs> I, I made my own uh, program, and, you know, but not what do you use and shit? Um, I started on Reason. Yeah. two years ago reason uh because i like to th- shout out to propeller head because when i first went to the studio my brother has a studio i was like seeing all the plugins and everything didn't know shit and then a year on reason i when i went back to the studio and i knew like everything like oh, the ins shit. and outs so that's what i started with but right now i'm using ableton i have a launch pad uh oxygen 25 a yamaha, yamaha 52 a kai um 26 just like beat pads oh, yeah, yeah. and a microphone, you know. Do 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 performances? Like yes. With that? Yeah. Uh, I, de- I DJ. I mean, I don't really. I haven't had so many opportunities to like play my beats. Yeah. Like I have, you know, and I and I, I've done it before. But if I'm gonna like DJ something, I just prefer to like just vibe out. Just turn what it kind of music or, you prefer when you're DJing? What kind of music you prefer to play? Um. It ranges, man. Like, I'll, I'll play some drum and bass. I'll play some hip hop. I'll play jazz. I'll play suavemente. I'll play it all, dude. Uh-huh. It don't even matter. So hit him up for your quinceanera bar mitzvahs, <laughs> fucking divorce party. <laughs> He's cheaper Holla. than Top Rank because Top Rank charges too much. Homie. <laughs> nah. Do you MC too? You, you do the whole fucking MC? No, nah, we got we got levels over there on the mic. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, thanks for coming through, man. Give them all the contact where they can find you, all that good shit. Man. Um, SoundCloud.com backslash ecal music e-k-a-l-b-m-u-s-i-k or blakequake.bandcamp um i'll be releasing a bunch of music on my bandcamp this year so just look out for that word up thanks for coming through man thanks for having me ogsq radio stay posted more interviews to come